I'm Jay. I've been with Higher Logic for about uh, it's just under a year now, so a little over nine months. Operationally, there's a lot of different areas of the business that fall under the chief customer officer role at Higher Logic. We call it customer experience, like the overall part of the business is called customer experience, as we refer to it internally, but it, it, it handles those things. In addition to the day to day operational functions, there's, um, you know, I consider myself almost the, the custodian of the aggregated voice of the customer. Growing up, my parents were small business owners and I was working in their, in their businesses since the time I was very, very young. And so dealing directly with customers and consumers. Uh, so I think I always had that in my blood just from the beginning, just to be very customer, you know, empathetic and customer centric. In my opinion, there always is a chief customer officer. Sometimes, that person has the role of CEO. Sometimes it's the chief operating officer. Sometimes it's the chief revenue officer. Sometimes it's the chief product officer. So I, I think in many companies, especially earlier stage SaaS companies, um, there's always somebody who is playing that customer champion role. So it might not have that official title, but there's somebody playing the role. It has to be, right? If you're trying to find product market fit, if you're trying to um, you know, deliver a great service, drive retention, so on and so forth. If you want to get to the point where you play the chief customer officer role, my recommendation is you got to get outside of just the CS role, right? And you got to go figure out how the support team works, figure out how the product team works, figure out how the sales team works, because you know, the job becomes really just a, a very broad executive role. I think chief customer officer is probably best suited in, in companies that have sort of crossed over into the need to have more than one team that's focusing on the customer broadly. And so you're, you're, you're really overseeing multiple functions that have to work together themselves. And then also with the rest of the business, that's when chief customer officer becomes more relevant, but you know, it doesn't really matter what you call it. I always tell people that are in the, in the VP of CS role, like act like you're the chief customer officer, be the custodian of the, of the customer experience, be the, the person who knows more about the reasons that your customers stay, leave, the value proposition, um, the operational, you know, delivery opportunities that you have to improve, like be the person that knows the most about the end to end customer journey. Like, I think that it's a, it's a mindset thing for me is that I'm always trying to learn and I'm sort of never satisfied that I've quote unquote made it. I don't think I have. <laughs> At the end of the day, we all want to do the best thing for our customers. That's that's sort of how we're wired. But business is a balancing act, right? You have to keep your people in a good place. You have to keep your customers in a good place and you have to keep your business in a good place or you're not going to have a job. Your ability to directly impact um, what's going on day to day on the front line is actually diminished. So you have to really lead. You have to ask a lot of questions. You have to give people lots of room to make their own decisions and see the consequences of those decisions, either positive or negative, and, and you know, be someone who helps cultivate others' careers. But I think one of the hardest things we have to do as leaders is sort of let go of that attention and give it all to everybody else and then be the facilitator, be the person who's there helping people grow their careers, helping them do the things that they want to do. And what you can accomplish there is is so much more than you can accomplish on your own. I only know so much up here, right? But if if I've got a whole team of people that are super smart, we hire them to go solve the problems. I just have to keep everybody organized. So it, at first, it um, it sort of takes you out of your what you think your power swing is. And this happens when you go from individual contributor to manager too. Sort of being leader first, customer success practitioner second was probably. It's the thing that I'm still working on.